From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. The scientific community largely agrees. Human beings are the culmination of millions of years of evolution. The first Homo sapiens, or modern humans, emerged a couple hundred thousand years ago. Since Charles Darwin published On the Origin of Species in 1859, evolution has become the most widely accepted theory concerning how humans came to be. Yet evolution is not a universally accepted theory, and today scientists are still working to fill gaps in the concept. However, we do know the basics. Organisms have DNA, and this DNA can occasionally mutate. These mutations can be beneficial, harmful, or neutral. Natural selection works to prevent bad mutations from spreading while allowing beneficial mutations to expand through the breeding population. As these mutations spread over long periods of time, they can produce new species. While the bulk of research focuses on the origin of humans, there's another question here. Are humans still evolving? Here's where it gets crazy. The short answer is yes. From blue eyes to the ability to digest lactose in adulthood, the human species is filled with comparatively recent and successful mutations. For much of the recent past, popular belief held that natural selection had ceased to exist for humans, as most members of our species live long enough to reproduce. However, a study by Yale University's Stephen Stern suggests otherwise. Beginning in 1948, Stearns and his team tracked the lives of thousands of people in Framingham, Massachusetts. They searched for a link between the physical characteristics of the town's women and the number of children they produced. According to their calculations, evolution was alive and well in Framingham. If there were no cultural changes in the town, then by 2409, the average woman would be almost an inch shorter, about two pounds heavier, bear children earlier, and enter menopause later. But here's the bigger question. If we know that humans are still evolving, what exactly are we evolving into? This is the million dollar question, and no one's sure about the answer. According to anthropologist Ian Tattersall, genetic innovations are only likely to become fixed in small, isolated populations. Without an isolated population, crossbreeding makes it much less likely that significant mutations could make a permanent impact. With this in mind, it seems that evolution may be enormously slowed by the density and mobility of modern humans. Yet there are other factors at play, and they were once considered science fiction. Take the example of genetic engineering. The ability to predetermine the genetic traits of offspring is looking increasingly plausible in the future. And what will happen if humanity makes a permanent home in space? Futurists like Ray Kurzweil believe we may soon reach a point where humans could become immortal through technological means. These claims are highly speculative, and there's just not enough solid information to conclusively forecast the future of human evolution. And, according to the numerous skeptics of evolution, there's not enough proof that evolution exists in the first place. In The Evolution Conspiracy, author Lisa A. Scheel contends that the theory of evolution has numerous faults, including vague definitions and a failure to meet standard criteria for a fact or a theory. Without traveling thousands of years into the future, it's difficult to guess what path human evolution could take. Today we are left with ongoing research and surprisingly intense controversy. Researchers working to flesh out the gaps in evolutionary theory see it as a work in progress. Opponents of evolutionary theory believe these gaps are evidence of something else, something they don't want you to know. <laughs>